ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Today my topic is about Timmy teaching aims and processes. First, let me uh, uh, define the meaning of team teaching. Team teaching means all arrangements that include two or more faculties in some level of cooperation in the planning and delivery of a course and research was by Davis 1995 site of Eisen 2000. So through team teaching, students will become active participants in receiving the knowledge information by the expert teachers. And the reason is, knowledge is exchanged through the opening up of the opportunities by everyone participated. All right? So how to connect teaching and learning? I suggest that the teaming experiences and the practice of sharing power uh, with co-teacher path the way for um, sharing control with learners, uh, teaching and learning as a two-way process. Okay, which students teach, sorry, and the teachers learn. So a teaming teaching workshop where students and teachers observe each other in the organization materials in active learning and assess learning, modeling, in joint planning and in peer coaching. All these are teacher and the student learning together. Okay, this is applied for adult education. Okay, remember, bear in mind, it's not for student education, um, not for uh, children education. So teachers and students practice, develop and improve each other in educational or course design. So teams form for many reasons. Team forms for coming together switchly for convenience. Teams for also to comply with institutional mandates. Team forms because they come together to share a passion or a cause. And teams come together is uh, may they may fall between the above two reasons. So the between the switchly for convenience and the, and the share passion or cause. Okay, you can fall between the two. Um, all right. So I just suggest that uh, there are 18 types based on the goals typology. The first one is the interdisciplinary uh, multicultural education or multicultural education, and the other one is collaborative learning, and also based uh, types is uh, the other types is com uh, community action and co-learning, and action learning, uh, specialized delivery, professional development, and research and writing. These are the eight types of uh, basically what uh, why the, the aims of the team forming, a uh, team forming, all right? For example, a team of multicultural students come together to learn each other's culture, uh, practice integrative thinking, and show appreciation of diversity. So even though the instructor could have specific training in social teaching, still it is an opening eye uh, both for the instruction and students to see more uh, perspective. Intercultural differences, okay? Thus, actively involving each other in the construction of knowledge is the focus of collaborative learning teams. Okay, it's the focus of collaborative learning teams. So according to Eisen, teams may also categorize to how the members relate to each other and work together. So Eisen study 16 types based on member relationships. As a committee, marriage, extended family, cohabitants, joint custody, and the village or non-traditional family. I just classify these six uh, members sheet related the team uh, is as uh, in the form of family in the form of fam uh, family how they um, see the team okay in the six member relationships okay? relationships in a family sorry so we should study in detail what those team types mean and the team teaching offers the opportunity for ideas uh, interaction where conflicts may occur sometimes but overall it is an excellent procedure for the more impressive and fruitful result if society or organization crave for maximum improvement okay and uh, let's conclude my today's topic on uh, teaming teaching aims and processes and my next topic will be uh, strengthening support for adult education 
during organization no change please subscribe and like my channel i'll be very appreciated and i will bring more next time okay stay tuned thank you for listening and goodbye